Innovation uh, in uh, MS research, uh, I think, is about connecting the dots between uh, seemingly unrelated, sometimes, observations. Connecting these dots is what sometimes can lead us to new uh, discoveries and uh, new interpretations that can become the basis for breakthrough therapies for MS. You know, I'm really excited by the fact that we've now identified that there's likely what we call a prodromal period, so a period preceding what we recognize as sort of specific or typical symptoms of MS. We've made tremendous advances in this direction, thanks to the MS Society in many ways. The separate part of ending MS, which I think is just as important and we need to work on in parallel, is for the people who do have MS. You know, how do we maximally treat them and prevent you know, them from getting worse? It's not going to be one thing that causes MS. This is a multifactorial disease. There's a genetic component, there's environmental components, there's lifestyle components. So I think having a better understanding of all three of those will ultimately allow better treatments. I think that we are gonna enter a, a period of sort of like, you know, personalized medicine where it might be possible to take into account disease progression, disease severity, age, sex, genetic background, all of these kinds of things to tailor a therapy to maximize the benefit to an indiv individual. Getting there is not just about doing research. It's about sort of changing the way we think, changing the way we talk about multiple sclerosis. How do we define stages and phases of multiple sclerosis so that we can begin to ask those questions? The National MS Society has uh, really shown uh, a unique combination of uh, perseverance as well as also executing on a tremendous vision to cure MS. With a passion that has persisted over so many years and results. One of the things that Im impresses me is the breadth of the science and the people that the MS Society supports. People with MS really need their cures now, and so we need to figure out a way to do the best science that we can. This is a testament to their continued importance in terms of cultivating a new generation of scientists and encouraging them in a number of different ways so that we can all sort of move faster together uh, towards a world without a mess.